This is the desktop of the Cubes operating system. This is the best desktop operating system to enforce security through isolation and compartmentalization, in my opinion. It is still in its early days for the operating system, but the concept behind it is excellent. Cubes is a free and open source operating system designed to provide strong security for desktop computing, not for servers. Cubes is based on the Zen hypervisor, the X Windows system and Linux. It uses virtualization to enforce security domains through isolation and compartmentalization. This is good because virtualization reduces the interfaces between security domains, but still allows the security domains to exist and communicate. Perhaps the best way to think of it is as if you're running on your laptop a Zen bare metal hypervisor with some Linux kernel added and additional code to handle communication between those virtual machines plus some added security features. That's Cubes. The user environments or the individual VMs are based on Fedora, Debian, Arch Linux, Hunix, Microsoft Windows and some others through what are called Cubes templates. There's an operating system like any other that you download and install on your laptop or desktop. Although it does take about three hours to install, it's quite a beast. At the moment, this is the latest version to download and there's also a live CD version that you can get, which you can download here if you want to try it out. The live CD currently, as I'm recording, doesn't have the latest features is the full install version, but at least with the live CD, you can test it out and see whether it works on your hardware. Note, I haven't found this live CD or in fact installing it to work on virtual machines, on any virtual machine. So you'll have to try it on bare metal. So what are the downsides? Why might you not just go out and install this now? Well, the first one, one of the big problems with cubes is lack of hardware support. I have a number of laptops and in order to get it to work on my Sony Vio, I had to flash the BIOS, which is a pretty scary prospect for most people, even highly technical people, as it can brick your laptop. To take full advantage of all the cool security features, you'll need a CPU that supports virtualization technology, including both Intel VTX or AMD V, which you can see here, and Intel VTD or IO MMU, which you can see here. Plus a BIOS with a trusted platform module to protect against the evil maid attack. You're also going to need a fast CPU and lots of RAM if you want to run a number of VMs. Another issue is with the manufacturers. They often make changes to the hardware of a computer or laptop or device throughout the life cycle of that laptop without notice and yet it's still called the same model and the features cubes takes advantage of are not features normally advertised by a vendor so you're not quite sure whether the laptop you're going to buy is going to support the features you need it to support this is a clear barrier to entry for any new user and turns people away i recommend the live usb to test cubes to see if it will work on your hardware if you think about getting a laptop, then have a look at this hardware compatibility list for examples of devices that fully support cubes or partially support cubes. The list is growing and is actually much easier to understand now that they've cleaned up the list because it used to be a bit of a mess. But it's actually pretty good now and you can see quite clearly what works and what doesn't work. And there's also added commentary on what they needed to do perhaps to make it work. But notice this is community supplied, so you know it might not be 100% accurate. Another issue to consider, performance and compatibility could be a problem with cubes, especially if you're only going to have one device. You're not going to be able to run games and high demand software in virtual machines unless you've got a very, very powerful machine or it's certainly not going to be as good as a native machine or the same native machine 
without VMs. So this will probably just be for work, personal and a security laptop, not a performance laptop or performance device. So what are my general conclusions? Well, this is an operating system still in the early days, but with the right hardware offers some unrivaled security features for anyone technical enough to take advantage of them. It is not designed like Tails to prevent local forensic examination. It is for those most concerned about vulnerability exploitation. Although it does have disposable VMs, these are more to remove a threat than to mitigate local forensic examination. It is a platform for security and exploitation prevention and isolation. It is arguably the best security platform for hosting another secure operating system. Hopefully the hardware compatibility issues will get easier, and I think they will, and Cubes has got a bright future. I recommend you try it out and I recommend you use it, especially if you have high security, privacy and anonymity needs. 